In this video, we'll be drawing and studying the human eye. First thing I do is draw the outline of the eye. Then I rough in the iris and the pupil. Right here is the iris. And then, of course, the pupil is on the inside of the iris, right here. Here's a diagram of the eye so you can see the layout. Then I begin to smudge around the eye like this. Even though this is digital drawing, this same kind of drawing can be done with a pencil and paper. Of course, normally I'm drawing on a pencil and paper and you uh, just put charcoal on the paper. And then you can smudge in these values that are sort of middle tone, mid-tone values. This line right here is really critical. It's a soft line and it's a shadow that's cast by the top of the eyelid onto the eyeball. Many artists leave that shadow out and uh, the eyeball is just not as convincing without that shadow. Even if you don't see one in the eye, put it in there. Notice when I'm darkening the outside of the iris that I do three or four strokes with my pencil on the darkest part of the iris and then I'll drag one stroke into the pupil. So that makes the eyeball look a little more convincing. Notice how much smudging I do on the eye. So many of the edges on the eye are soft edges. They're not hard edges. The only time I really use my pencil tip is on some of the eyelashes, the eyebrow, some of the harder edges around the iris and the inside of the eye. So there's a lot of soft edges on the eye, not too many hard edges. Here's some hard edges here This, with the eyelash. I use the same technique as I did on the iris. I'll, I'll do three or four short strokes where the dark areas are and then pull a stroke out for the eyelash. take my pencil tip and draw in some of the eyebrows. These are hard edges also. This line above the eye is shaded a bit. It's usually a little darker because it's, it has a cast shadow from the eyebrow area. Do a little more smudging here to balance out my values. Okay, now the all important highlight on the iris. You do this with an eraser on your pencil, a real sharp eraser. Many times working with your eraser is just as important as working with your pencil. Right here I'm cutting out some of the highlights. I'll also take my eraser and soften the inside of the iris usually opposite the highlight that I put on the pupil right here. Just soften it a little bit, it makes the eye look a little more convincing. few more details, darkening the bottom of the eyelid now. 